a circle in a spiral Like a wheel within a wheel Never ending or beginning On an ever spinning wheel Like a snowball down a mountain Or a carnival balloon Like a carousel that's turning Running rings around the moon Like a clock whose hands are sweeping Past the minutes of its face And the world is like an apple Whirling silently in space Like the circles that you find I feel like we don't get to talk that often. Well, we do, but it's being two hours apart. It's like, hello? Like a tunnel that you follow To a tunnel of its own down a hollow to a cavern where the sun has never shone. Sick. <clears throat> Hello. Hey guys, welcome back. We're here at the biggest, what is it, gallery in the southeast, pretty sure. That's the statistics, pretty sure. Other than just being a gallery, it's also home to lots of studios to various artists that do all types of stuff from ceramics to fashion to just painting to music. So it's just a creative space here in old Alabama. I look like I need to stop doing things with an audience in mind or like a final product in mind. Start creating just to create, just to discover, just to document. Je suis documentary. I'm not like really included in the footage that I've been taking over the course of this break. Um, So I spent sophomore year, uh, I'm like, oh, not sophomore year, so I spent the first semester of sophomore year just like trying to breathe after that. And then even sophomore year before that, I spent the summer trying to breathe, you know, trying to realign, and I couldn't. And I was like, why? Please, this sucks. What's going on? That is, is it good? It's pretty good, very cheesy. It's delish. That smells good. I'm not even hungry, but it's just making me want one. How much was it? Eight bucks. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh! Let's see, let's reflect on what this trip has been. It's been it's been very good so far. I think I always enjoy um, the stillness that comes with being home and um, 
kind of settling back into like a routine that I used to partake in, I guess. It's, it's very much this like liminal space that feels outside of time. Like this is a, an escape before I go back into the rat race that is school and college. I think um, in another like audio message to myself, I described freshman year as traumatic, but like it, in a good way, I guess, just in terms of how much happened and like how just crazy it was. It was just all over the place. But yeah, it was. That's what I'm saying, but like it was a lot. It was like 36 straight weeks of just adrenaline. <clears throat> and then the summer came. And I was like, whew, okay, time to recover. So in my recovery era, actually, no, this semester was the recovery era. And then next semester is the like, like back on the upswing. I don't know. I don't know what else to call it. But um, I wanted to visit Low Mill before we left because um, one of the it's it's one of the things that I appreciate most about being from Huntsville is having the largest like arts facility in the southeast region um, and just being surrounded by all of this creativity and things. I think is a good like physical space, but also a headspace to enter into. Um, heading back into school because this week I was already getting like work emails and school emails and one of my professors it's Saturday and he sent an email and was like read these before class and I have his class on Monday so it's little things like that that kind of get in the way of being able to 